seven.
just can't start the day like this No, the waking world will be better for me Hello, it's me. Welcome to the stream. Also, I got a friend here. It's Whitmer. Hello, Whitmer. Hello. I'm pl I'm playing the Stanley Parable, but just one of them. Mm -hmm. Just one of the many parables. Yeah. Uh, good heads up to folks. I am not going to be playing with any of the new content on. I went ahead and reverted my save file. So there's not going to be any spoilers for the new content. It's mm. just going to be the baby ending. Because I've never done the baby ending before. And I want to do the baby ending. Have you seen the ending of the baby yeah, ending? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's I been a long time, it. though, so I have forgotten what it is. So oh, I will I know it when I see it, but the reaction will feel fresh. Oh, of course. So that's some good news there. And so, you never know, it might be different now that it's the Ultra Deluxe version. Uh, uh, from what I understand, no, nah, it's probably going to be pretty much the same. Mm. Uh, but before I begin, I wanted to just say, and I'm going to state this throughout the stream, I'm going to have media share on so that we're not listening to a baby crying and a loud buzzer the entire time. In fact, I've kind of already went hours. Yeah, I've kind of already preemptively turned that function down. <laughs> so the game audio and stuff. Yeah. Um, narration's still up, so that's good. Oh, we'll know when the narrator's talking. Mm hmm But, uh, just to have a little bit of air to fill, uh, MediaShare's gonna be on. I believe if you donate at least a dollar, then you're able to put something into the, th the, uh, the playlist. So, also, I'm gonna make it so that, like, MediaShare isn't in the VOD, so feel free to get, get into it, you know? <laughs> Get into it. Get into the uh, get into the ro royalty full uh, stuff there. Mm. Uh, yeah. Also, just so that I can make sure that it's like that, let me make sure that it's on the the one that definitely doesn't go there. Now, here's a question. There's an answer. Uh, does the removal of the media share in the VOD mean that the things that I say won't be recorded? <laughs> Uh, no, because media share itself is an active, uh, like, well, one, no, because you go through a completely separate, uh, like, audio thing. Like, I have two mm -hmm. separate, uh, audio channels for desktop sound and Discord sound. Oh, there you go. Yeah, like, I could actually have you going while my desktop is completely muted. Mm. it's very nice interesting yes yeah that being said uh for the most part it looks like media share itself is going to be its own separate audio channel let me oh yeah let me make sure i'm not stepping on my toes where i put it though let me let me make sure i got that good okay oh uh, you know what i can't change some of these features while uh streaming Oh, oh, no. oh no oh no this stream very well might be a one deal i might not vod this one mm. oh well ah uh. regardless let me uh turn off studio mode there let me move this so it looks a little nicer on the screen and let's begin the dingle game yeah, the dingle dangle game yeah just also making sure quickly uh do you want my uh face on the stream or uh it shouldn't take me long to get it there okay just up, up. i'm logging into the site just in case i think that I it automatically it. does that to you it should that this is, is the, the story of a man this is a story stanley. of a man named stanley it sure is stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427 there he employee is, employee number 427. 27. 27. Seven! There you go. Telling him what buttons to push, how long to push. Oh my goodness gracious me. This is what No, we're not gonna watch the rest because I accidentally clicked back on the screen too soon. Ah. Uh, 
Okay. I so, mean, we know it by now. Like, you've got to... Uh... All co-workers were gone. What could it also, mean? do you want to, uh... Oh, you share to the Discord, or... Yeah, she had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard sure. Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, um... I'm not going to point out how the new content isn't here quite yet, but it's quite clearly not here yet. Yeah, it's not here yet. Yep. Yeah. Whitmer, have you gotten to play the new one yet? No, but I watched playthroughs. Oh, you? I thought you were wanting to not get spoiled. Yeah, and then I was like, yeah, I'm not going to be able when to, Stanley came to uh, a set of spend two a lot open, of money on this was not the correct while, way so. to the meeting mm, okay. room, and Stanley knew it perfectly I mean, it's well. a fairly cheap Perhaps game. he wanted to stop by the employee eh. lounge first, just to admire it. Employee lounge. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all. It's a good just time to spend here. a few moments here in, in this immaculate, the employee lounge. Constructed room. Mm -hmm. Stanley so we'll simply envelope here, down there. It all in. A little mug that says who farted. It's great. This is the real question here. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. No, I didn't. So, um, this, Stanley was so this bad won't following really enter into anything. But, uh, five years ago. the... Uh, if you don't take the Look, baby Stanley, ending, they have changed now uh, what this here. ending is. I'm not your enemy, ever so really slightly. I really uh, it's the same your trust base in ending, else can but like the events but are the a little bit different. The story is okay, so they've but uh, recalibrated the actual ways of how to get through it? or No, 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 the pathway is still the same, just forgot. parts what? of the ending really? are different. Okay. I don't know if you've done this ending with... Are you that Watch convinced deluxe, yeah. that I want something bad uh, no. to you? Quite frankly, I've I saved this because I thought it would this, be a fun stream. I really do want ah, to there help you go. You to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let, let me through that blue door. 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 Now listen carefully. This I want to go in there. Stanley this is important. Through the red door. Here I go. Blue. <laughs> Perhaps blue again. Stanley walked through the red door. Well, I get that. No. Nope. Ding, 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 ding. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know <laughs> cutting them off at the pass there. there. You want to cutting them off at the pass. At the end of this you don't get the chance here. Well, well, don't let me stop you. You see, there's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first. I love place. how the game flip flops on like the actual is this what you role wanted? of the narrator. Sometimes yeah. he's a character in the game, sometimes he's the creator of the you. game, sometimes he is because I did. And in the end it was all just something nothing. oddly in between. You wanted to see. Mm -hmm. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate Especially with this newer one, he's a bit of both. Well, oh, well, yeah, definitely. He, he alternates between. I mean, uh, there's no yeah, real, like, established canon lore of which I mean. Work with me, you give me correct, absolutely like, nothing so far. Yeah, uh, it'd be odd if there was. I think that's a new design, a kind of the spirit of the back. game altogether. There we go. Yeah, really. A you're able to option. interpret what you want. This already of. feels leaps ahead of where we were. Okay, now, I don't know how I feel about the third door. Tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be I'm going to give it a one just because I want to hear him freak out. Back here. Harshly negative, wow. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game mm. could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not even <laughs> helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, Redo the custom, whole thing. Judge. What do you mean? You, that's not even helpful. Yeah, it's well, very helpful. It's, it's, it's a way of saying that that's the I worst idea. I think that Get maybe, uh, I think... It. I think I've knocked I think it maybe it would be well improved with the leaderboard. Ah, a leaderboard. I oh, wonder where I, I wonder rank. Where, yeah, where do you rank so far? Good oh, old good old Neil. Neil. Yeah. Has gotten through this in two seconds, or not even point two seconds. Yeah. Maybe that is just two seconds. And, uh, I'm hmm. way. Oh no! Oh! Oh no! Behind, behind Mussolini and a dead rat. Oh dear, I'm doing worse than a dead rat? Yeah, that's really that's that's unfortunate that. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated? I like how the five is, is immediately then, open. I can please. immediately do the five, it looks like. Yeah. But no, I didn't like the leaderboard. Hey, I, I was wrong. Wow. Of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely Regrets. opportunity to give it some play test. Okay, so you wouldn't mind. All right, y'all, we're in it. Perfect. <laughs> Lock and load. Here we are.
In this you game, just better hope the baby that, crawls uh, left you don't have danger. to you do that again. You click the button again. to move him back. You don't make any mistakes. Oh, I... Fire, yeah, no, like, like, if I make a mistake, a stream's movie. just done. <laughs> All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will it's really baby. take notice. But of course, I like the, the art world really the game game becomes I like how the hair is there just on the left so side just going all out play to make yeah, sure it's, it's a transparency you see. be sure to keep yep. notes on your experience all right okay go. I will say turning down the sound effects has made this immediately better <laughs> well yeah because you're not having to deal with uh, baby noises crying the whole time yeah now, I know that I have to let him get somewhat close to the fire at some juncture because there's no way to get around it. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, th believe you me, the the narrator will clue you in onto the new increased parameters of... Uh... Well, I know that there's increased parameters. There's always been increased parameters. There's a puppy at some point. Mm -hmm. And I think there's one other thing. Yeah, but... Uh... I mean, can you not just keep clicking the button? Like, I, mean, I can. I it it's just like, I mean, at some point, I'm gonna to... have to like move to the left a lot, and then I gotta move back. So I'm just going yeah. to meter it out, get used uh -huh. to the uh, flow of pressing this button the way I do, Indeed, because yeah, just the button to the yeah get in the swing. I'll get in the swing. Okay. Yeah, at this point, it's very straightforward. I don't have to worry that much about it. Mm-hmm. Well, then. We'll be here for a while. Yeah, definitely. This is going to be the stream. This is, this is the whole thing. It, this is it, the it whole hope, stream here. It, I hope people appreciate that uh, the past um, five minutes were the most action you will see in the entirety of the day. Oh, don't worry. There's going to be action further on. It, this gets uh -huh. more intense. It does get more intense. But for a long stretch of it, this is going to be just what people are looking at. Um, yeah. Because I don't is... know if the dog gets added like an hour in or two hours in. It's a while. I know that for sure. It's a while. We're definitely like you're going to be um, for the next. Definitely for a while, you're going to be sitting with it just being this. Yeah. Um, I'll change the angle a little bit just so that it's oh, the that baby. Really... Baby coming into frame and then disappearing. That probably, uh, that probably gives you more context as to how uh, soon you need to press that button, actually. Yeah. Because if the baby is off camera in this section, then it's likely not an issue. <laughs> the baby uh, because... is patting your head. Uh, baby. Baby's not really patting my head. My head is kind of... The baby's shadow is patting my head. I mean... Eat both. Both somewhat. Shadow petting. Mm. And shadow petting. Oh. Its shadow never... is petting you, and it is petting you from afar. Wow. Using dark machinations. I didn't know shadow's pronouns were it. Good for it. Good for it. Well, the baby's pronouns are it. Oh, I see. It, it, it a baby. Mm-hmm. Just watching the face disappear the way it does is wild. What, and that it's like jump cutting? Yeah, well, it's also just like... <laughs> ah! Oh! Okay, apparently I've accidentally turned on uh, right and le left clicking makes you walk. That's a function in the game. Oh, there you go. They are tripping you up. Okay. All right. I'm going to turn that off. I don't want that. That will mess me up One -handed for walking. sure. Yes. All of this is going to be increasing the time, of course, you know. Only a touch. It's, it's not that bad. Mm. And, yeah. yeah. So, how's your day been? Uh, it's been okay. Primarily been just, um... Well, I can talk about this. I'm getting into exercise now. Yeah. In no NDAs on exercising, huh? No, not really. Um, basically, I'm just trying to get healthier because I've been feeling unhealthy for quite a while now, and uh, mm -hmm. I'm hoping to improve that. So, 
I actually, I used to um, exercise fairly regularly around the tail end of 2019 and the early part of 2020. Hmm. Um, actually, the majority of 2019, I was keeping up with exercising pretty well. The situation was then, in 2019, I was trying to slim down a bit because a friend of mine from high school was going to get married. Hmm. And... Um, like I wanted to be looking a little bit niftier when that happened. And uh, then the pandemic hit and mm-hmm. uh, then my friend and his fiance called off the wedding and I was like, well, who cares anymore? I'm not going out. Uh. And I just splurged for two years and now I'm at a point where I'm like, oh, I can feel the effects of me splurging. <laughs> oh, I am yeah, more oil than person. <laughs> well, you know, I'm just like, it's one of those things where it's like, hey, you know, what, like, is this sort of shortness of breath and tight, compressed feeling in a chest, is that like signs of high cholesterol or heart attack or, you know, I'll have this sort of weird kind of buzzing sensation go off in the back of my head. I'm like, uh oh, am I like, about to have a stroke or something so Mm -hmm. you know and i also i did have uh i don't want to get too deep into the Mm -hmm. specifics of it because it's quite gross but i did have a little bit of a health scare at the start of this year anyway oh yeah i do recall um so uh like and the takeaway from that health scare was a bunch of doctors saying you need to just start living healthier like change your diet and exercise more and those sort of things Mm -hmm. so it's more just a matter of I'm like okay look I need to be more on top of my game and I need to You be... need to press the button to keep the baby away from the fire more. Uh yes, I guess so. Yeah. I've I've kind of been in the same boat although I haven't had any like major health issues. It's more just the past 2 years have not been conducive for me to be able to go out and actually exercise. Yeah. Uh, I've been focusing more on dieting lately and for the most part, I've had some success with it, but at the same time, it's like I'm still having about the same amount of calories that I was before in terms of like mm-hmm. I'm having healthier calories, but it's still the same amount because it's not a good idea to eat like way too much less. Yeah. That also well, being the... said, though, I want to like meter how much I eat because I don't need that much. Well, it's the combo. It's the combo of changing your consumption. It changes, like, sort of calorie. Like you said, there's good calories and bad calories. Mm-hmm. Um, there's the same way there's good fats and bad fats. It's all about, yeah. like, sort of the combination of, um, like, eating healthier stuff to, like, reduce sort of calorie intake and make sure you're getting vital nutrients and minerals and stuff like that. But also, if you add exercising into that, your body is then using the excess stuff, like the fats and all the other stuff. It's using it to then fuel yourself through the exercise. So you change how your body processes all of those um, bits and bobs. And, you know, you combine the exercising with the dieting, and that's the key to, like, really unlocking the whole thing yeah and something to note is like it is possible to actually live pretty well on what some folks consider not that good of a diet it does depend on a healthy balance of at least not overdoing it on that and Mm -hmm. also like keeping a good amount of activity and yeah moderation yeah that, that that definitely is the case. I know some folks who eat nothing but fast food and are somehow the skinniest people alive. Mm. And that is partially just because of just that's how they are as people. But in some case, it is because well, yeah, they're just we... the most active people I know. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like they're staying active or they also just got lucky with a really great metabolism. Yeah. You know? It could be either one. Honestly, metabolism is such a weird thing. It's very easy to just kind of whip that thing all around and, like, change well, yeah, it up. Yeah, it's adjustable. Yeah. yeah. 
as long as uh you work at it i'm mm -hmm. i've been doing a kind of an odd one as of late uh it's called a 21 hormone reset uh 21 day hormone reset ah where i slowly just like cut off different types of food after a three-day period so like the first three days i can't have alcohol or beef or really any red meat and then uh after that three-day period's up no sugar then after those three days no weirdly enough fruit i think is the third one hmm. uh and like you're slowly like eliminating certain kinds of like things that do affect your body uh like good to see that oh. enthusiasm keep it up stanley just three hours and 45 minutes left again. cool three hours right, 45 minutes, minutes left Woo! we're at the 15 minute mark fantastic yeah so as you were saying uh yeah no uh it just eliminates like certain things that like affect your body hormonally mm -hmm. and at, at the uh, end of it you're kind of detoxing which mm. I don't know about the science of it, but at the well, same time, it like, thing to me that it would be hormonal related because I would imagine it would, you know, the the alternating between what appears to me the alternation between protein and carbs and fiber, mm -hmm. um, like I could see how that would like change the way the body processes all those different. Uh, yeah no quite frankly i only know about the process of the cycle not so much the science that it was built on hmm. and like that's the name of it i don't necessarily agree or care about the hormone stuff it's more it's a very effective way of being able to actually meter out my diet and have a little more control on it because mm -hmm. like i think that's the biggest issue that i'm having at the moment just control on like consumption mm. Cause yeah, you know, that's, that's, yeah. No, I get you. Yeah, that's my issue too. This is gonna be a weird stream. I'm just realizing how weird it's gonna get because we're talking about dietary uh, habit and how to curve it. While I actively stave a baby who keeps hurtling itself towards a fiery pit. I feel like that's just how that's gonna be. I mean, yeah. Know. I feel Mind like you, I, I feel like I this is here the whole time. No, I know. At some I juncture, I'm going to have to stay here with my own thoughts and hope that somebody in chat engages with me. Yeah. Either that, or like I just somebody comes along and decides to play so much reggae or something. So I don't know why reggae. reggae is the first thing that comes to mind. Reggae would be very calming in a scenario like this. You know? Yeah, I'd say so. I just need. I just need to. Uh, have a good way of metering this out because it's four hours it's four it hours four of this hours, of which we've elapsed 15 minutes mm -hmm. um so like already like that's one nodule down yeah uh, things that i wish i had done one started a timer two put a timer on the screen so people know how long i've been at this Oh, it's going to have to adjust anyway. Yeah. Because uh, if you need to, like, pause to go to the bathroom or something, like, that will affect the timer, so. Yeah, I don't plan on doing that, though. I, I, I did my business beforehand. Oh, you're in this for the long haul, are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm willing to sit down and stare at this stupid nonsense for a good four hours. Mm, I've yeah. been doing it so far. Uh, I did it with Endgame. Please note, like there was more going on in Endgame than. Yeah, but it is well, still yeah. silly nonsense. Hmm. Hmm. I just I thought of a joke, but it would have been a spoiler for this game, so I don't want to. Okay. Go with it. But something you said made me think of a thing. Uh, the silly nonsense. Yes. Okay. There's a lot of things that could be silly nonsense in this game. Is it mm -hmm. new content? It's new content. Okay. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep it under wraps. Can... Yeah, I was like, I was going to pull the brakes on that one. Yeah, I appreciate it. If it's something it. from the original game, I'm not going to care because... Yeah, that one I think we're all well and fine with that. Well, like, by now, the threshold of is it acceptable to spoil with the first game, just like, yeah, it doesn't matter. But if it's new content, then I'm going to be like, yeah, I'm not going to discuss it. Yeah. 
I'm going to have to do some mental gymnastics on uh, how long 15 minutes have been with this. Because, like, the best I have Oof. is, like, the stream timer that mm -hmm. is currently at 36 minutes. And that's not accounting for the stream actually starting or me actively, like, setting things up or getting into the game proper or even getting to this point. But Ooh, I think... Around the time my... when it was like 30 minutes, he chimed in and said, all right, 15 minutes to go. It was about like or 34 15 min minutes, yeah. I would say. Yeah. So that would, mathematically, that would mean that it was about uh, like about 19 minutes in. Mm -hmm. But, like, there's, like, a sort of 19 to 20 minute buffer you would have to account for. Gotcha. I think that is the math. I could be wrong about that. but uh... Possibly. I, feel I like mean, this... I'll, I'll make a mental note of it. Next time the announcer, uh, the narrator, like, steps in to be like, oh, it's been 30 minutes, then I'll look and see what the timer is on the clock, and then I can give you the math you gotta do. Yeah, and actually, I think what I'll do is next time that he chimes in... I will actually start a timer and just know that, like, it's... I think he actually was like, it's... He said three hours and 45 minutes, correct? Yes. So oh. he'll probably step in again at three hours, uh, 30 minutes. Yeah, if he does, then that's going to be good for me. I'll start the timer then and know once I get to the three-hour, 33-minute mark, I'm good to go. <laughs> good to go. Yeah, good go to go there. in terms of not having to worry about anything. That's going to be nice. Oh, you'll have to worry about making sure that the baby lives. Well, yeah, but, like, that part's pretty darn easy so far. So far, it all got harder, you know. Yeah, I know. This game has rising difficulty. I know, I know. I could barely hear the sound effects, and they are not great. Yeah, they aren't. That's, I honestly, I think that's half the struggle with this game, is that it is, like, uh, dealing with uh, four hours of... It's not even that. It's like... Yeah, oh, it's, the, it's that... Yeah, it's... It's the mix of, like, the loud button and the baby cry. It's the loud noises. They really don't want... this. like, they incentivize you to not let the baby live. Yeah. Because this isn't something that you should be doing for four hours. But you can, and mm -hmm. there is a thing at the end of it. Yeah. That's the fun of baby crows, kiss. crows, crows. Yeah. Flame kissed baby. Ugh. Flame kissed baby. Okay. You'd think you'd think by now, like the, at least the baby's right arm would be a little bit singed. Yeah. But, uh... You would think it. It's a it, it's a fun little challenge for baby here. Oh, of course. At least they have a very, very, like, pleasant face. Yeah, as, you know, as Baby crawls into danger. I think, um, yeah, I, I don't think the Baby face, like, burns up anymore if you actually lose this one. Ah, well, that's good. I think, like, the thing just stays on uh the wood because i know that like in the original um if the baby got into the fire then it would like fade off and then it would just be the planks of wood behind it mm -hmm. i don't think it does that anymore actually i think it does i remember playing this a little bit ago i don't know i'm not gonna test it yeah, I was going to be like, I thought you said that you didn't uh, get to... Oh, no, 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 don't get it twisted. 
I didn't do what I'm doing now. I've definitely played this route. Oh, well, but I meant did, okay. So then, do you know what's different about the? Yeah, I know about route? that. Oh, okay. You were saying it before. As if, like, I thought you meant. I thought you meant the end of the actual four-hour-long version. Not. Oh, I haven't seen anyone attempt that yet in Ultra Deluxe. Okay. Yeah. No. The the changes on that are pretty interesting. Yeah. I'm wondering if it was like a rights issue or something. I'm partially thinking it was more of a just wanting to update the game kind of thing. Mm. Like more playing with the trends of recent games cuz when the Stanley Parable came out, like it did kind of touch on probably some of the biggest games of its time. Yeah. Well, I mean, in both of those games that it touched upon were fairly well known by then already like yeah one was i think both of those games were at least like three years old by that point so yeah and you could make the same uh actually you could make this stronger army argument of that for the games featured in this one yeah well because the games featured in this one are also pretty well established by now yeah not only that but also i imagine that like Something to note about those games opposed to this one is there was a change in engine. And yeah, maybe well, because of that change in, in uh, engine, they were probably yeah. able to... Because they made this in uh, Unity, didn't they? Yeah. Like, uh, yeah. As opposed to whatever they made the original. You know. uh, source. I mean, I know the... I, yeah, because I know the original original is a Half-Life uh, mod. But, mm -hmm. uh, and the other one was in the Source engine, so then this is Unity. Yeah. Which, it feels pretty much exactly the same. Mm. Like, it is bewildering how close to the Source engine this feels. Well, that's actually something that I was going to ask, too. So, when you get to this ending, and it's just like the orange blocks of code... Um, was that like a thing that was very specific for design in the source engine? And Actually, the, it's kind of industry. Kind standard? of, it's a, a bit of both. Yes, mm -hmm. like pretty much industry standard, but also like oh, uh, at the same time, it does look very similar to how most source games do have their. Uh, textures hmm. they don't usually actually have like a label to them with a like a number like that see how it yeah. says like wall 128.128 yeah, 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 yeah. they usually don't have that they're usually just a grid of gray and orange mm. so that yes. that is something that is unique to the game but otherwise mm. most games do have this kind of built in I see, I see, I see. I figured that that was the case, because, I mean, I would... I would assume that, you know, like, with game development, sort of stuff, like, especially with stuff like this, it would be all on a polygonal grid anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but I didn't know if it was, like, also, like, color-coded and stuff like that. Yeah, and I think that also, like... it It can also, like, very much be made to be like this for a lot of folks like you could probably have your own custom uh default uh textures mm. well yeah but usually this is utterly the default for, like mm. at least from what i've seen for both source and unity i haven't seen uh much of how like unreal engine uh development works i'd imagine that it's a lot like this Imagine if this was a 2D uh, platformer, like, in a sort of, like, a platform. Imagine if this was a, like, sort of old-school, like, 16-bit, uh, 8-bit kind of game. What would that devolve into? Just, like, binary? Probably. Or, I, or I don't think that they would or... have a, uh, I, a bit of both. Like, if this were a game that someone was making the old, old way, then, yeah, it would be graph paper. Well, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, like, yeah, you ever, 
like the what I have in my head is something that like sort of you know uh like the quote unquote final level of Pac Man, which is just a jumbled mess of code because like you're not supposed to be able to get that far into Pac Man. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of what I was thinking of. Oh, maybe it's you know it would end up being something like that, where just because it becomes a jumbled mess of like a dollar sign equals percent the C kind of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. Whereas now, if a game like this, it's more hexagonal or square based. Yeah. Which you could make yeah. the argument that like. This is just a 3D version of graph paper. Okay, so oh. clearly you're in it for the long haul. Although I find it hard minutes. not to believe you're simply running a program to click the button over and over automatically, which kind of ruins the point of the game, don't you think? Wouldn't that take the art out of it? You can tell me in your post-playtest analysis. Well, that's, I'd say, just ten minutes later. Okay. So we don't have any guarantee yet that that was um, 30 minutes. No, because okay. if I remember correctly, uh, you said it was like 34 minutes last round. Yeah, it was around 34, so I mean, I'm going to run on the belief. We'll see what happens next time. I mean, I'm here for a while. I'm here till uh, 2.20 your time and 3.20 my time, and then mm -hmm. I have to pull up my pre-screen. <laughs> Yeah. Because I'm going to go live uh, later today mm -hmm. and do something a little bit more uh, visually stimulating than this. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's not to say that this isn't going to be a fun stream. It'll be a fun stream. It will be. It will be a stream where I go insane, which I find is some of the, the more fun streams. Those For... are some of the more common streams with you, aren't they? Or... Yeah. Or is that? <laughs> that's pretty much every stream if you really get down to it. If you really get down to it, you know, there's a little bit of... If you really get down to it, I don't think I've been sane in a very long time. Mm-hmm. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. My dad used to love that song. I don't think he was much of a hip-hop fan, but he really loved Cypress Hill's Insane in the Membrane. Mm hmm You know? It's probably just because it's a fun rhyme. It is a fun rhyme. I mean, that's like, that's like prime early '90s mainstream hip hop, of just like lots of samples and just the right amount of aggression, but also just a really fun chorus lick. Mm. Here, this is gonna be a little brief. Plant. I I can indulge in this because it's uh, like, what else are we gonna do? Yeah. <laughs> Have you uh, gotten the chance to hear the new Kendrick uh, Lamar track that dropped yesterday? No, I haven't. It's okay. All right. Um, it's it's the Heart Part Five, and considering how it's another part of the Heart series, that means that it's not going to actually be on the album <laughs> because none of the actual like parts of the Heart are on any of the proper albums. Mm. So. It's an interesting video. I'm still trying to like sort of parse out what the, uh, is being said in the video, because it's just uh, Kendrick lapping, yeah, Kendrick rapping on a uh, like on a like maroon backdrop, mm -hmm. but then like he deep fakes his face in, in a couple of the verses. Okay. Um, to interesting figures, uh, <laughs> like. Uh, he, there's a couple of moments where he deep fakes himself to be OJ Simpson. Okay. He, he deep fakes himself to be Kanye. He deep fakes himself to be Kobe Bryant. Uh, who was the one actor that was on? Uh, what was? Like who are the people? It's all like, yeah, it's like. Kanye, OJ, Jesse Smollett, Kobe Bryant, and Nipsey Hussle. Mm -hmm. And right in the middle of all of that, in a deep fake that when I saw it, it made me burst out laughing for the entire verse that it was occurring. Uh, Will Smith. Oh, yeah. oh dear. 
<laughs> got me in a yawn on that. Yeah. I wasn't prepared for it to be Will Smith. Yeah, no, nah, he, he deep fakes himself to be Will. <laughs> on, on, I, let me, I want to see. He, like, tries to, so, because it's Kendrick, immediately, like, all the think pieces came out about, what's this trying to say? What's this trying to say? It's one of the think pieces pointed out something which I thought was very, 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 very funny. <laughs> mm-hmm. Which is that they're like, well, if you look, he like deep fakes the faces and like very specific parts of the verses where sometimes it appears like he's talking in character as those like people. Hmm. And um, like this is where I find it funny because uh, when he <laughs> deep fakes himself as. Uh, when he deep fakes himself as Will Smith, the line is, in the land where hurt people hurt more people. <laughs> and I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I just, I, I found that amusing. <laughs> that, like, I'm certain that was a la- Oh, and other interesting ingredient to it as well. Hmm. So... Um, in the if you look in the, the video description on YouTube for like the credits to to the video, um, he special thanks three people in the video for their help on it. Uh, the first one he cred he like puts in the special thanks is like the the program or the team or whoever that did the deep fake, mm-hmm. and then the other two are Matt Stone and Trey Parker. Oh, <laughs> and like the fuck. <laughs> Is the, the next album indebted to South Park? Like, jeez. So, I mean, the song itself is fine. It's just him rapping over a sampled beat from Marvin Gaye's "I Want You," which "I Want You" is a very gorgeous, lush song, and mm-hmm. it lends itself to hip hop very easily. Of course, a lot of Marvin Gaye samples lend themselves to hip hop very easily. That's why the blurred lines uh, court case happened. Because <laughs> mm-hmm. even though the music lends itself to being sampled very easily, uh, the estate does not. Yeah. That's understandable. Hmm. <laughs> At that decision, that court decision still fucks up copyright, honestly. Hmm. How so? Well, because it's like I don't know. They like they like ruled that like blurred line. It's so stupid that it's over blurred lines of all songs as well. Yeah. But it's like they they made the argument that because like the chord sequence was, you know. Which it, it actually, if you listen to Blurred Lines, you can't actually really tell that it's sampling Gotta Give It Up. It's there, the sampling is there, but like the chord sequence and everything else built around the song sounds almost nothing like the Marvin Gaye original. Mm-hmm. But they argued that, oh, well, if you take inspiration from a song. Or if you think, oh, like, this is something that's, like, paying tribute, then that counts as plagiarism, which is so stupid. We only have 12 notes, people. There's only so many permutations we can go through those 12 notes over the history of hundreds of years yeah. of, of musical composition eventually some things are going to sound like other things and you're going to have to live with that it doesn't automatically make it plagiarism Mm -hmm. (laughs) living in weird times living in weird times i mean you can tell like there's also you can tell when something is and isn't plagiarism if you listen to it you can tell a difference yeah there's like one of the most infamous examples of plagiarism i can think of um in terms of stuff that I think is full out, out and out plagiarism, is um, in 1975, 
James Brown put out a single called Hot Parentheses, I Need to Be Loved, Loved, Loved. Close parentheses. And it was a nice, cool, funky disco track. James Brown, Godfather of Soul, you know, hmm. like classic James Brown kind of funk rave up. But if you listen to the track, it's pretty blatantly fame. Hmm. It's just David Bowie's fame. Like the whole thing is just bam 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 down to now bam 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 da da It's like okay, well this is just absolutely you're just taking from David Bowie now. Well, all right, great. <laughs> yeah, and I don't think I don't think anything happened over that. I don't think James Brown ever got like sued or anything because David Bowie being. A very white Englishman probably was like, "Oh, cool, James Brown took my my like backing track and did an actual real soul thing with it." <laughs> like, hmm. I am. At, there's a thing called like mu- like musicians who are. Co- that's the difference is that musicians who are actually like, "Yeah, I see you took this thing and then you did it there." Like, they don't mind. I don't think you know. Hmm. Like, actual musicians get that you only have so many notes and so many chords, and eventually something's going to sound like something else, and they don't really mind it. It's when, you know, all of the non-musicians, where the family estate steps in, and they go, well, you know, like, my when all the accountants and the record labels and the lawyers and the media people all step in, that's when it becomes an issue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, honestly, there are aspects of copyright law that are terrible. Mm-hmm. Well, I like the idea of having uh, something to stop, like, folks stealing. from yeah from stealing, like outright ideas and saying, "Oh, it was me that did it." Mm-hmm. I do hate how it's been perverted to what is effectively the god rat feeder. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's what I'll call it from now on, I feel. Mm. It is just the thing that feeds the giant rat god. It is. And it's because, and the thing is is that it's, it's not even like the minute, you know, it's it again. I don't think it's artists themselves who are really waving the flag about copyright and stuff it's all i mean there's probably some very litigious artists who whom then i would maybe argue aren't that really that credible as artists Um, but Mm -hmm. uh like there's some very litigious kinds who are like oh this is my thing and no 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 but for the most part i think people who get the marketplace of ideas as a free market i don't think they really are too beat up about like oh this idea of mine is protected by blah 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 blah. Yeah. I do think that there's a systemic issue with artists not being paid properly, no matter what industry it is, if it's the film industry or the music industry or the television industry or the stage or whatever. Yeah. There's systemic issues of the actual performers and the artists and the songwriters and the script writers and the filmmakers and the directors and the editors and the everyone else that who actually makes the business run, not actually getting their fair share, and uh, the bulk of the profit being swallowed up by the marketing teams and the uh, the for like the sort of the distribution studios mm-hmm. the people who don't actually really involve themselves in the process of making the product but they sell it and so because they sell it they some for some reason take the bulk of the earnings yeah that just sucks it sucks capitalism bad mm-hmm Yep. Also, a bit of a an aside here, just to talk about uh, the experience so far. Uh, we're oh, pressing... yeah, we're an hour in. Yeah, well, that's just into the to stream. Yeah, that's into being live, not necessarily stream proper. Mm-hmm. 
according to uh, the timer that I've set, it is 12 minutes into when I set it. So, give or take 15 there, we're getting close to 30. Mm, we'll see. I imagine by this point, the narrator isn't going to step in until we've reached, like, uh, an hour, three hours left. Yeah. Which, when, once, once he does that, then I'll give you a timer on the clock. Yeah. So that way then we can do the math. Yeah. Of how long it's been. Mm -hmm. I'm slightly tempted to actually just stop the clock that I have now and wait until then. You might as well. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I know that I don't want to like. I don't want to like devalue all your hard work. But I mean, quite frankly, it's not that hard work. No. In fact, quite frankly, I'd rather do easier work. There you go. You can set probably a timer to, like, just three hours and then have it count down. Mm -hmm. And then the second the narrator starts saying, three hours, Stanley, then you can just press the button and then you know where Yeah, I think I will do exactly that, actually. Because mm -hmm. that is going to be a lot nicer than, uh... Counting up, which I think is what you have going on. Yeah. It's a rough go, this one. It's a hard, hard world. Yeah. Also, for folks Aren't you who... Aren't glad I'm here? Yeah, I am. <laughs> for folks who are watching and maybe uh, want a little more sound to this very, very, very uh, oddly uh, like spaced audio space here... Mm. Uh, I've got media share on. If you type exclamation point tip or sh media share, uh, if you give me a dollar, you could play music on my stream. There you go. Whatever you want. Do you have keys on you? Uh, I'm playing around with a necklace. Oh, I was gonna be like, I heard something metallic jingling. Yeah, I've got like a little, a little necklace that's like a little uh, equinox. You know, oh, that's a, lovely. Yeah, and I've also got like a. A little, like, I don't, I don't know exactly what to call it. It's basically just a, like, a coin from Asia. Because, mm. like, I got it at a, like, a, a Tibet, <laughs> a Tibetan store. Mm. Just because I like both of them. They were very nice. Yeah. It was next to a store I used to work at. Oh. Actually, the store where I came up with the design for Cleaver. Oh, really? Wow, that gives a lot of backstory. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. I'm having to deal with it, and I'm dealing with it you, my way. You certainly are having to deal with it. Yeah. It is. It is. It's a lot. Uh huh. So I think that we've probably hit the uh, thirty-minute mark. Oh, not I'm, too long I'm ago. One hundred percent certain we've already crossed the thirty-minute mark. I yeah. actually feel we've probably, at this point, probably crossed the forty-five-minute mark. I'm not sure on that. I feel like we have, and if we haven't, then we're about to. Yeah, well, it took like 30 minutes to get to... Like, 30 minutes on the, the timer to get to the 30-minute mark. Or Well, last time the narrator talked... Actually, 15-minute mark. Last time the narrator talked, it was 47.20, and now it's 105.48. So that's at least... Um, 20 minutes right there or at least mm. 18 minutes so True. i feel like we've probably crossed the 45 minute threshold maybe now whether or not we've crossed the hour threshold that remains to be seen yeah that i think we've got some time on we got some time on this you know this is actually this means nothing to you <laughs> possibly but uh but this is on a subconscious level for me as a commentator, 
Mm-hmm. This is great practice for when Riley inevitably does her Geo Guesser trip to Disney World. <laughs> it's gonna feel the same. It's gonna feel the same. I mean, it, this doesn't help you any because you're not gonna be pressing a button the entire time, and it doesn't. Well, help I might her be able to. She's, it doesn't help Riley any either because she's not uh, the one pressing the button. So, yeah. like, but. This is still very much, this is a good uh, preamble to that stream. We need to come up, all of us in the Rainbow Nexus, we need to start all coming up with different ways to just waste people's time. <laughs> yeah. Just need to go for it, you know? Stan- yeah. The Stanley Parable is an easy way to do that, for sure. Oh, yes. I mean, this this is a prime. You know what's amazing about this form of wasting time? Is that it's relevant. Mm-hmm. This is relevant time wasting. Yeah. So like you're, <laughs> you're, you're bless you. Thank you. You're you're swooping in right now on the zeitgeist. You're really like Yeah, you're, you're, I am I am finding captured, the best way to loiter right now. You've captured pop culture in a bottle and this is the end result of it. Yeah. I feel like that's something that the narrator would give me kudos for saying. <laughs> And yeah, at the same time, he'd also chastise us for just sitting here pressing a button for hours on end. He would. That's something that's very fun about this. There's there's a great deal of metatextual context to what I'm doing here. Oh yes, of course. I'm embodying a character who is completely defined by pressing buttons, and that is just ultimately what I'm doing here, by the behest of a of a character who oft times is trying to say that pressing buttons isn't the best thing and yet to that character's discussion of saying pressing buttons isn't the best thing the only way to really make him happy is to just press this do button what he tells you yeah <laughs> well mm-hmm. like Which... the supposed good quote unquote the good ending is built around you still just pressing buttons but in a more uh, sort of like metaphorical way of just yeah. following what the narrator said. Well, he's wanting it's you to press buttons form. for you, but in reality, you're pressing buttons for him. Yes, which is what Stanley was doing before at his desk. He was pressing buttons for his job. Yeah, for someone else. Also, mm-hmm. hey there, Aaron. Baby, 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 baby. But yeah, no, I, I do like the, the way that this is, because, I mean, like, the duality of this scenario is uh, pretty palpable when you think about it, because there's two. There's This is an ultimatum here. I either keep pressing the button for four hours, or I let the baby uh-huh. go in the fire, and if I do the uh, po- opposition there, I get chastised for it. He immediately you calls me a heartless... Yeah, he immediately calls you a heartless bastard. Oh, but in the British way, so you heartless bastard. Yeah, exactly. The, like, there's a lot... There's, 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 there's a there's lot there's at stake there. here. There's a difference between a bastard and a bastard. A bastard. A bastard. Yeah. I find bastard far more enjoyable to say than bastard yeah one sounds like you're trying to trying to find a rat in there the other is actively calling you the rat Mm -hmm. like bastard there's a rat in there probably yeah but bastard it's like oh geez am i the rat Mm. but yeah no i like the reflection i do like the duality of this situation here i also Uh Don't really enjoy the fact that uh, this is just my life now. It's not your life now. It's your life for... Think of it this way. This is giving you a prime insight. I get that it's supposed to be a prime insight into the risks of parenthood, which, like... Oh, it's it's growing in speed. Are you noticing this? Uh, No, it's not. I've just moved. It looked like it was growing in speed. Um, but... Um... No, it's not only, like, giving you the, like, sort of, oh, the risks of parenthood, but also, we're getting an insight into just what Stanley's day-to-day is like anyways. Yeah. Um, Maybe he has a kid at home, and he's no, got to take care of it like this. No, yeah, That's not the case. 
in actuality, yeah. but it very well could be. Mm. So much to unpack here, you see. Mm -hmm. See, the art world is taking notice. Yeah. Look at this. It's us. We're the art world. We sure are. Yep. We're Got both cartoon illustrations. I call that art. Yeah. One of us is much, much more wavy than the other. One of us has working eyelids. I blinked. Yep. I mean, I'm a full, I'm a full colorized uh, drawing. You have just the color on your bandana. I mean, like, I mean, to be fair, this could just be the full color of me now. Oh, have you done it? Have you become monochrome? Well, I'm not monochrome. I've got the blue and the red there. Oh, as a drawing, that's not. A, I mean, it's a bandana. You can you could remove your bandana. Yeah, a splash. I guess it's a splash of color in a world of black and white. Mm. Who knows? Ah. I haven't thought about anything about like what could the the Undertale version of myself be? You know, the usual VTuber model that I have. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, I always kind of assumed that the, you, what you have right now is your Undertale version. That is it, yeah. Yeah. You just haven't thought about it in a while? Well, I haven't thought about, like, giving it more, uh, like, meaning than it has. Like, the fact mm. that it is a black and white illustration of myself, but there is some color in the headband. Yeah. I am a little Monopoly colored, I won't lie. It's where you're keep the headband is where you're keeping your soul. I can see. Uh, I keep somebody's soul there. Oh, is that not yours? Probably. Given the the lore of Undertale, probably. Hmm. Well, whose is that then? I don't know. Someone's. Hmm. At some point, I would like to go and like make a cleaver themed. Undertale fight. Or an Undertale Cleaver fight, if you prefer. It would be it would be uh it would be whoever the player is having to dodge a bunch of beans. Some of them, yeah. And then and then well, Some beans heal say, you. Some beans would heal, some beans would hurt. Yeah. I was going to be presumptuous and include a simple frog in there, but no, that's my attack. Yeah. They're simple I, now. Well, actually, Power Frog would be in there. Mm. Yeah, you could have Power Frog in there. Yeah, I do have Power Frog. I feel like I've really slept on... Pa well, I'm going to rephrase that. I really haven't used Power Frog in a while. It's been some time. Yeah. Like, I've got an emote for Power Frog and everything, so... Yoshi's on the sides trying to lick you. Yeah, it works. Well, and there's just one where odd, it's Power Frog and it grabs you with its flamey hands. Of, what an odd example of Twitch's uh, Twitch's censorship there. Did it, what? What did it censor? Lick you. I, well, I didn't even see that. Yeah, I had to add it as a permitted term. Well, I appreciate your catching of that. Yep. That's the thing. I had the fastest clicks in the West. If I'm ever bothered to be overseeing the chats that I mod for, I'm very swift at it. Well, hey, it's appreciated. Oh, bam Yes. I had, to, oh, there's back. had to do that on my phone. Yeah, I was going to be like, that's some nice multitasking you pulled off there. Yeah. And back to waiting for for the narrator to tell me the three hour mark is here. I, you know, I'll be fascinated. Or one hour mark is here. The one hour mark. Yeah, I feel like we're getting close to it because it's an hour sixteen. You've been live, so mm -hmm. I feel like we're getting near. Yeah. If my math is correct and it's like around the one twenty mark, then 
that'll be very rewarding for me. Yep. I'd say it's probably 119. Yeah, 119 I'd... probably. Yeah. This is going to be the easiest stream in terms of making content, at least. Like, it was not hard to, like, f fill the hours in on this one. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, literally, this is going to be a four-hour stream. That's a perfect length. Yeah, exactly. And considering the fact that I'm not going to be expending a whole lot of energy for the video itself here, that's great. Yeah. I'm bartering with myself about how this was a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> are you regretting it now are you like, no oh. i'm not in fact i have vindicated it just now yeah let, let me go check the poll on this again just popping in oh. to say hi one minute seven uh, one hour seventeen. intervals of commentary from me but that's not why you're here is it you're here for the game for the art for the endless this fucker waited right for when you were gonna go check twitter <laughs> yes this yeah. is what drives your every action Keep clicking that button for hope, for freedom, for science, for love. Don't ever, ever stop. Okay, so good news is uh, we're still stuck with a baby, presumably for an hour. I think it is another hour. I think the, I think the dog doesn't arrive until the two-hour mark. Okay. That's when things are going to get unbearable. Yes, and unfortunately for you, that will be when I have only 15 minutes left before I gotta zip on out of here. Yeah. Oh, I silenced it. If we stay quiet for a little bit, you can barely hear it. Or you could hear Whitmer just taking the loudest gulp. I, did, well, I intentionally tried to be soft about it. I can't help it if my microphone is gets... like, Oh, it's with mine. Oh, they do a big gulp. Let me let them know. Go I didn't do a big gulp. I, did a, I just sit from a straw. I know. Come on now. This is your microphone being like this. Oh, it's, it might be voice mod. Voice mod has like a sort of preamp. Or I've put a preamp in it. but Possibly. Hold on. I'm getting really far away from the microphone. How, Sounds how good about, is it? it sound about sounds the about the same. Really? Yeah. Even when I'm, like, right here? I mean, it sounds um, less roomier when mm. you're, like, there. True. It sounds, it sounds drier, but I think voice mod does have a compressor on it that, like, um, maintains volume levels dependent on how far away you are. I think there is a point where you do get so far out that the microphone isn't picking up anything, but I do think that voice mod uh, instinctively has a compressor on it to boost the levels and things. Yeah. So. But yeah, uh, to get back to the point there, and yeah, the, the it's going still. It sure is going. But now you know you have three hours, or three hours two hours 58 minutes i am proud of myself that i got my math right that it was like at around 117 yeah that was pretty good yeah so because i had to take a shot in the dark and be like i think it was around this so so in truth the uh earlier like 15 minute mark was more along the line well no i think you were about right it would on would have been that. around like 32 minutes. Yeah. I thought it was... I was like, it's either 32 or 34. So. Yeah. But... And I was willing to take the latter half just because that was the number thrown out there. Yeah, so... I was pretty good, though. I got that pretty near. Mm-hmm. So, uh... So, yeah? Oh, uh, you go ahead, you go ahead. I said it was gonna be so weird for me to like be here for like the two hours fifteen I'm gonna be here and then shift gears to Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, this is gonna be a bit of a change of pace and energy for you. Yeah, I know you. Once again, I, if you have any brain left by the end of this, you're welcome to uh, hop in on mine to do I, voice. I should have more than enough brain left. Although I do have laundry going. You do have. But it shouldn't take me long to take care of that. Yeah. I may take a break midstream here just to go put it in the dryer. 
Mm. How long does it take to wash? It's usually like only 25 minutes for me. Uh, it might, it may be. This baby really wants to experience barbecue. I know. But I can't let him. Wants, this baby just wants to grill, baby. Just want to grill this baby. <laughs> I don't want to grill this baby. No. <laughs> There, see, that's it's called variation of the bit. Yeah. It's bleeding into every aspect of our uh, improvisational time. Mm. <laughs> yeah? I was just looking at the, the capture of the button, and it's just... I really wish that it honked instead of buzzed. That would make this funnier for me. Just yeah, hang, if it hang, had better hang, sounds. Hank, Hank, that'd be good. It'd make things even even worse. But worse in like a better way, at least. Worse or? in a better way at first, and then just worse. And then just worse. That's that's so typical. Yeah, cause like think about it. You're going through your time. You're making. All the honks and whatnot, and after a while, that's what you're living with. You're living with not one, but two higher-pitched noises constantly. Mm. Hey, look at what Nightbot said. That would be appreciated. Mm. Also, you could you... even You could even share some media if you wanted. Yeah. Just by going to that link, give it a dollar. Give it a dollar. Yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna put on some tunes on my end. Okay. You don't want to put them on my end? No. Well, I mean, I don't know if you'll like the tunes that I'm gonna put on. Yeah, that's understandable. I can't account for taste. Yeah, and you know that all I ever listen to is binaural beats mm. and seagulls. Making the baby dance. Mm. The baby's tummy is very cute. Mm. A lot of witticisms coming from just that. Mm. Specifically, that that's all I can really say about the baby. Yeah, really, I mean... Nice rosy cheeks. I like the uh, haphazardness of uh, the two by fours that are holding it. Oh, Yoshi, <laughs> Yoshi lick. It didn't wow. play. Hmm. Hold on. I need to pause. Did I? Is it not on here? Hmm. I guess it's not. Let me put that on here. I don't know why it's hmm. not there. Did you pause your uh, timer? Or... No, I didn't. Oh. We'll have to take it again. <laughs> eh, that's all good. It's only a few, few uh, seconds here, I'd say. Yeah, no, hold on. Why did it not play Yoshi like for me?